Good morning, folks and family. It's Raymond X the Prophet again. It's 10.13 a.m. on June 3rd, on a Wednesday, 2020. 10.13 a.m., June 3rd, 2020, on a Wednesday morning. And this is the Word Today Part 3 for March 29th, 2020. Once again, the Word Today Part 3, March 29th, 2020. Let's go ahead and go into the Word today. And starting with the first journal entry, we're going to start in Ezekiel 37 and 38 for today's sermon. And starting on March 28, 2020 at 8.40 p.m., this is what I read, The Dry Bones Live. The Dry Bones Live. This is found in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 1 through 14, key verses 1 through 10. So let's go to Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out of the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered him, O Lord God, you know. And again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Should I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, and bring flesh upon you. Cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall know, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, Son of man, say to the breath, breath. Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, Our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesied and said to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up from your graves, and bring you to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and have brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, says the Lord. Now this general entry, March 28, 2020, 8.43 p.m., one kingdom, one king, one kingdom, one king. And this is found in Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 15 through 28. Key verses 21 through 23. So let's go back to Ezekiel 37, 15 through 28. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, As for you, son of man, take a stick for yourself and write on it. For Judah and for the children of Israel, his commandments, then take another stick and write on it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his commandments. Then join them one to another for yourself into one stick, and they will become one in your hand. And when the children of your people speak to you, saying, Will you not show us what you mean by these? Say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Should I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I will join them with it, with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they will be one in my hand, and the sticks on which you write will be in your hand before their eyes. Then say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Should I will take the children of Israel, from among the nations wherever they have gone, and will gather them from every side and bring them to their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land, and on the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them. All, they shall no longer be two nations, nor shall they ever be divided into kingdoms again. They shall not defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will deliver them from all their dwelling places in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them, then they shall be my people, and I will be their God. David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall also walk on my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. Then they shall dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob, my servant, where your fathers dwell, and they shall dwell there, they, their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. I will establish them and multiply them, and I will set my sanctuary in their midst forever more. My tabernacle also shall be with them, 
Indeed, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The nations also will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary is in their midst forevermore. The next journal entry, March 28, 2020, 8.46 p.m. Gog and allies attack Israel. Gog and allies attack Israel. This is found in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verses 1 through 17, key verses 2 through 6 and 10 through 16. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verses 1 through 17. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, for the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshesh, and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the prince of Rosh, Meshesh, and Tubal. I will turn you around, put hooks in your jaws, and lead you out. I will follow your army, horses, and horsemen. All spend the clothed, a great company, with buckles, loose, and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya are with them. All of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his troops, the house of Togomar, 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 for the far north and all his troops, many people are with you. Prepare yourself and be ready, you and all your companies that are gathered about you, and be a guard for them. After many days you will be visited. In the latter years you will come with the land of those brought back from the sword and gathered from many people on the mountains of Israel, which have been long desolate. They were brought out of the nations and now all them dwell safely. You will descend, coming like a storm, covering the land like a cloud, you and all your troops and many peoples with you. Thus says the Lord God, on that day it shall come to pass that thoughts will rise in your mind, and you will make an evil plan. You will say, I will go up against a land of unwalled villages. I will go to a peaceful people. We dwell safely in all of them dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates. You take plunder and to take booty to stretch out your hand against the waste places that are again inhabited and against the people gathered from the nations who have acquired livestock and goods who dwell in the midst of the land. Sheban, Dedan, the merchants of Tarshish, and all their young lions will say to you, Have you come to take plunder? Have you gathered your army to take booty, to carry away silver and gold, to take away livestock and goods, to take great plunder? Therefore, a son of man prophesy and say to God, Thus says the Lord God, On that day when my people Israel dwell safely, will you not know it? Then you will come from your place out of the far north, you and many peoples with you, all the riding on horses. A great company and mighty army, you will come against my people Israel like a cloud. The cover the land, it will be in the latter days, that I will bring you against my land, so that the nations may know me when I am hallowed in you. O God, before their eyes. Thus says the Lord God, Are you of he, are you he of whom I have spoken in the former days by my servants, the prophets of Israel, who prophesied for years in those days that I would bring you against them? The next journal entry, March 28th, 2020, at 8.50 p.m. Judgment on God. Judgment on God. This is found in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. Verses 18 through 23. Key verses 18, 21, and 22. So let's go back to the book of Ezekiel once again, chapter 38, verses 18 through 23. And it will come to pass at the same time when God comes against the land of Israel, says, The Lord God, that my fury will show in my face, for my jealousy and the fire of my wrath I have spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great earthquake in the land of Israel, so that the fish of the sea, the birds of the heaven, and the beasts of the field, all creeping things that creep on the earth, and all men who are on the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. The mountains shall be thrown down, the steep places shall fall, and every wall shall fall to the ground. I will call for a sword against God throughout all my mountains, says the Lord God, every man's sword will be against his brother. I will bring him to judgment with pestilence and bloodshed. I will rain down on him, on his troops, and on the many peoples who are with him, flooding rain, great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus I will magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of the many nations. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Okay, the next journal entry I have for you, March 29, 2020, at 3.48 p.m., 
I have a sermon from Benjamin Faircloth on the YouTube channel, and I, I'm going to post the link to that in the description box below. As you see, listen here. This is the sermon. It's called Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells on March 29, 2020. And I'm going to give you the Bible verses that go along with that. Jeremiah chapter 21, verses 1 through 12. And then Lamentations chapter 2, 1 through 3, 14, 17, and 22. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 21, verses 1 through 12. Jeremiah 21, verses 1 through 12. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, which King Zedekiah sent him, Asher, the son of Melchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest, saying, Please inquire of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, makes war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all his wonderful works, that the king may go away from us. Then Jeremiah said to him, Thus you shall say to Zedekiah, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back the weapons of war in your hands, with which you fight against the king of Babylon, and the Chaldeans who besiege you outside the walls. And I will sell them in the midst of this city. I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand, and with a strong arm, even in anger and fury and great wrath. I will strike the inhabitants of the city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. And afterwards, says the Lord, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, his servants of the people, and such as are left in the city from the pestilence, and the sword and the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into the hand of their enemies, into the hand of those who seek their life, and he shall strike them with the edge of the sword, he shall not spare them, or have pity or mercy. Now you shall say to this people, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who remains in the city shall die by the sword, by famine, by pestilence. But he who goes out and defects the Chaldeans who besieges you, he shall live, and his life shall be as a prize to him. For I have set my face against this city for adversity and not for good, says the Lord. It shall be given to the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. And concerning the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear the word of the Lord, O house of David. And thus says the Lord, Execute judgment in the morning, and deliver him who is plundered out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go forth like fire, and burn the so that no one can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Lamentations, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, 14, 17, and 22. Lamentations 2, 1 through 3. How the Lord has covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger. He cast down from heaven to the earth the beauty of Israel, and did not remember his footstool in the day of his anger. The Lord has swallowed up and has not pitied all the dwelling places of Jacob. He has thrown down in his wrath the stronghold of the daughter of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has profaned the kingdom and its princes. He has cut off in fierce anger every horn of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. He has blazed against Jacob like a flaming fire, devouring all around. Lamentations 2 and 14. Your prophets have seen for you false and deceptive visions. They have not uncovered your iniquity to bring back your captives, but envision for your false prophecies and delusions. Lamentations 2, verse 17. The Lord has done what he purposed. He has fulfilled his word, which he commanded days of old. He has thrown down and is not pitied. He has caused an enemy to rejoice over you. He has exalted the horn of your adversaries. Lamentations 2, verse 22. You have invited as to a feast day the terrors that surround me. In the day of the Lord's anger there was no refugee or survivor. Those whom I born and brought up, my enemies, have destroyed. Okay, folks, the family have a song that goes along with a sermon called Hell's Bells by ACDC. You may be very familiar with it. It's not a worship song, but I included that to go along with the sermon to give you an idea. You may want to listen to the uh, lyrics and try to equate that with what the sermon is by Benjamin Faircloth. So I decided to go ahead and include that. And I'll post that in the description box below along with the YouTube video link. Now I do have two worship songs after that uh, for your Spotify account holders. And I'll post the, uh, the one called Cochran and Company, Church, Take Me Back. So I'll post that in the description box below. Cochran and Company, Church, Take Me Back. 
and I'll also post a link to that as well as a YouTube video link you see listed here. And one more worship song I got, I can just fit in there. It's by Unspoken called Just Give Me Jesus. Unspoken, Just Give Me Jesus. I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as a video link by YouTube you see listed here. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Today, Part 3, for March 29, 2020. Once again, the Word for Today, Part 3. March 29, 2020, everyone have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Get ready for His return. I love you all very much, and God loves you too. Be safe out there. Remember, this is your day of decision-making, your day of salvation, your day to repent. Love you all very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Upload, Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Take care.